In today's video, we're going to talk about lower back pain, why we experience it, and how to get rid of it. Before we kick it off, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more exercise instruction videos, exercise science videos, corrective exercise videos, and motivational videos on Live to Thrive. What's up everybody, welcome back to Thrive Fitness in Ann Arbor. I'm Amir Rad. Back pain is one of the most common reasons to visit the doctor in the United States. And it's the most common injury or muscular imbalance that people complain about the most, whether it's the general population or athletes. Unfortunately, most people seek help in the form of anti-inflammatory medications or painkillers. Fortunately for you, after watching this video, I'm gonna show you how to alleviate your back pain and stiffness so you can improve your overall quality of life and live pain-free without back pain. The most common causes of lower back pain come from a lack of flexibility and mobility, specifically in the hip complex, posterior chain, which is the back side of the body, and the lower back muscles being stiff. The lack of mobility in these areas leads to extreme weakness in the abdominal and the glute muscles making it virtually impossible to fully engage and activate your ab and glute muscles during targeted exercises. In the general population, most people with back pain tend to have desk jobs or sedentary jobs, which can lead to muscular stiffness and weakness in the areas that can cause lower back pain. Now for athletes, the problem generally arises for those who lift weights frequently, but put no emphasis on mobility. Mobility is the key to muscle activation and recruiting the proper muscle groups during each exercise. The key components to alleviating your lower back pain are to strengthen your underactive muscles, which are your abs and glutes, while putting a lot of emphasis on improving the mobility in your overactive or tight muscle groups, which would be your hip complex, hamstrings, and your lower back muscles, so that you can efficiently and effectively strengthen your abs and glutes without overusing the wrong muscle groups or the tight muscle groups. To combat your back pain, First, I'm going to teach you some targeted stretches to loosen up your back and surrounding muscle groups for more immediate relief. First, we're going to show you a couple hamstring stretch variations. The first one being with your legs straight, feet together, and reaching for your toes. This stretch is going to loosen up your hamstrings and your lower back lumbar muscle groups. Now, if you can't reach your toes while keeping your legs straight, I suggest you use a band or a towel and wrap it around your feet. You're going to act like you're climbing a rope hand over hand until you can really feel the stretch and then hold it. You wanna to try to hold these stretches for about 60 to 90 seconds to create a deep stretch into the hamstrings and lumbar muscles. The second variation of this stretch is a V stretch. So we're still stretching the hamstrings, but the angle is gonna target more of your inner thighs and your QL muscles in your lower back. So hand over hand, reaching for one foot at a time, the other foot, and then both feet and we're holding each one for 60 to 90 seconds total. The next stretch I'm gonna show you is for your psoas or hip flexors, and it's designed to cure the pelvic tilt. How many of you have seen people walking around with a pelvic tilt where their butt sticks out, lower back's always tense, engaged, and tight, and abdominal muscles are not contracted? We always wanna walk tall with our butts, glutes engaged and butt squeezed forward. So this stretch is gonna target your psoas and hip flexors. Starting in a lunge position, the back foot, driving the toes into the ground, and the front leg taking a big step forward until we can put both hands behind your butt, squeezing your butt forward the entire time. This is a three-part stretch. The second part to this stretch, I'm gonna to try to raise one hand up to the ceiling. The same arm as the back leg, as we continually squeeze our butt forward the whole time we hold the stretch. Part three, we're gonna take that same arm and cross it along the top leg. So we're adding a torso twist as we continually squeeze your butt forward the whole time you hold this stretch. I suggest you hold each one for about 30 to 60 seconds each before you switch. The next stretch I'm gonna show you is for your glutes. Our glutes are a center of gravity. In order to have strong glutes, you want to be able to activate them with a full range of motion, not a partial range of motion. Your glutes are the driving force of all of your daily activities and power movements in your exercises. 
So make sure you don't neglect them. And that'll ensure that you don't overuse your lower back muscles causing more pain. Check it out. You can do this stretch with or without a wall. I always prefer something like a bench or a wall in front of me so I can use it to push and enhance the stretch. What we're gonna do is set one foot against the wall or bench while I lift my hips and cross my other foot in front of my thigh. You always wanna keep your foot flexed up, not down, not sagging down to avoid knee pressure. And once you get into position where your leg is crossed over, one hand's gonna grab your ankle and the other hand is gonna rotate the hip by pushing the knee away from your chest. And that external rotation is gonna target the glute stretch with the top leg I'm pushing away. Optimal glute mobility would be if you can get your knee and ankle parallel to each other in line with your stomach. Remember we're trying to rotate by pushing the knee away from the chest and keeping your foot flexed up the entire time. Notice my right foot is pushing against the bench to enhance the stretch even more. The next stretch I'm going to show you is called a spine twist. This is an amazing targeted lower back stretch which helps loosen up all the muscles surrounding your spine and your intercostals, your rib cage muscles, and your glute medius and piriformis which are the outer glute muscles. This stretch feels great and can generally lead to immediate relief in your lower back. So for this one we're going to lay on your back, just like you're wringing out a sponge, you're going to cross one leg over. I like to hook my foot underneath my leg that's down on the floor. You get your hand on top of the knee to keep it close to the floor. As you rotate the opposite shoulder down to the floor at the same time. So I'm pulling my knee down to the floor with my hand and letting my shoulder and chest fall back to the opposite direction. That's going to target my entire lower back, loosening up all the muscles around my spine. Now, if you have a really tight lower back, this stretch can also be done with a partner a lot more effectively. So have your partner do the same stretch on you by swinging the leg across the body and keeping the opposite shoulder on the ground and having them give you a light push on the shoulder and the leg so they can both slowly reach the ground. Stretching with a partner can always help you push you past your mobility limits. But make sure your partner pushes slowly and controlled so you don't pull anything. And the last stretch I'm going to show you is with a foam roller for reverse hyperextensions. Most people when they think flexibility or mobility in the lower back, they always reach forward and stretch by reaching for the toes. But nobody thinks about hyperextensions. So we want to try to be mobile in every direction. So you lay on the foam roller, start on the top of your mid-back, and what I mean by reverse hyperextensions are raise your hips up, and let your butt drop. Every time I raise my hips up, I'm squeezing my glutes at the top, let them drop once they touch the ground, come right back up, and then I'm going to slowly slide down about another inch down the foam roller. Raise the butt up, squeeze the butt, and back to the floor. Eventually you're going to get to the point where you're going to have to rest your head and shoulders on the floor and then we're going to do the same thing. Let the butt drop and squeeze the butt at the top. And we're going to do about three reps on each spot until you slide down to the next vertebrae. Once I get to the very bottom, then I like to roll my knees side to side to get my lower back and sacrum a little mini massage with the foam. This is another one of those stretches that can give your lower back immediate relief. Now that we've covered some stretches, let me show you some basic ab and glute exercises to strengthen your core and glutes so that you can keep your midsection and center of gravity strong and avoid stressing out your lower back muscles constantly. These exercises work great and pair great together with your stretches. First, I'm gonna show you a couple plank variations with slight movement to engage your abdominal muscles even more than just holding a plank. Once you get into position, set your forearms underneath your chest, one leg up at a time, and we're gonna squeeze your butt down, 
and do it in a perfect plank. The first variation, you're gonna push your toes forward and back while you hold the plank the entire set. Remember to always keep your glutes tight and squeezed, and have squeeze while you hold the plank. The second variation is called a plank via, where you slowly suck your stomach in and raise your butt a few inches, and then squeeze your butt down a few inches back to your plank position. We're gonna repeat that the entire set. Squeeze your stomach in, squeeze your butt down the entire set. We're gonna try to hold that plank Work your way up so you can do about three to four sets of one minute or more. The next ab exercise is called a lying leg lift. We're gonna do this leg lift very safely for those of you who have stiff and tight lower backs to ensure that your lower back doesn't arch when your legs go down. So notice when I lay down, my hands are gonna go underneath my lower back, under my sacrum as I lay down, right above my butt. From here, this is gonna stop me from arching my lower back so I can straighten my legs, squeeze my abs, and lift my legs up nice and straight. Lower the legs down slow till you feel a stretch in the abs, and then squeeze your abs to pull them back up. And I like to add a crunch in at the end too to get the full range of motion. Another variation of this, if you have tight hamstrings still, is as you come up, your knees and bend them towards your chest as you crunch. As you go down, kick your legs straight, let your heels touch the floor, and repeat. Try to work your way up to three sets at least of 20 reps or more. And the last basic but effective ab exercise I'm going to show you that's going to target the sides of your abs a little bit more too. It's called alternating toe touches or bicycles. There's two ways to do this. The more advanced variation is with both legs straight. You're going to reach your arms and hand your abs at foot as you switch your hands and feet simultaneously without bending the knees. Again, if your hamstrings are too tight and you can't keep your legs straight, let's switch to a bicycle variation where you bend one knee towards the chest. We're still reaching the opposite hand with the opposite foot as I kick my other leg completely straight out as close to the ground as I can my abs engaged the whole time. Now if you experience neck pain or neck stiffness, feel free to support your neck without pulling on your head and continue the same exercise. Nice and slow. Try to work your way up to three sets of one minute or more. Next I'm going to show you an awesome exercise for glute activation and glute strength. It's very safe and effective with a mini band or a band if you have one. We're going to put the brand around both feet and pull the band right above your kneecaps. And then we're going to have you lay on your side on one forearm, pull your knees right in line with your stomach towards your belly button and keep your feet tucked in so your legs are at about a 45 degree angle. And from here, I like to keep my hand on the top glute as I raise my top knee up. Generally rotate the leg and squeeze your glute. Pause for one second. Come on back down. Try not to let your knees touch so you can keep constant tension on the glute before you come right back up. Again, this is a great and safe exercise for glute activation and glute strength. And try to work your way up so you can do three sets of 20 on each side, and then you're ready to progress to the next stronger band. And the last exercise I'm going to show you is a stationary lunge. If you're one of my clients or if, or if you've seen our video on lunges, you know that we don't have any of our clients squat or deadlift, especially if you experience back pain or stiffness so you can master a perfect lunge. Lunges are amazing for hip mobility, glute activation, and glute strength. If you have a difficult time balancing with lunges, I always suggest using a PVC pipe or a balance stick to help you with these. When you get into your lunge position, you're going to take a big stagger step forward with your feet shoulder width apart. Notice how my back foot is completely elevated to my toes, heel is all the way up. Notice my front foot is sitting back on my heel. I want to keep about 70% of the weight on my back foot as I slowly bend my back knee down towards the floor, keep my abs engaged, and keep my chest back over my hips the entire time I go down. Pause at the bottom, 
Straighten the leg at the top, but don't lock the knee. Again, if you have trouble balancing, get a light grip on your stick and go down the same way, keeping most of the weight on the back foot, keeping the chest back over the hips, straightening the legs at the top without locking, pause at the top, and right back down. Posture, the knee alignment is really key on lunges. We never want to have a pelvic tilt. And we never want to allow the knee and the front to go past my ankle. So make sure you do these perfectly with all the way down the back foot. And if you can't go all the way down, let me arrange your motion until you can. You want to try to work your way up to three sets of 15 lunges each side until you can progress to different types of lunges that are more progressive and advanced. For more ab exercise variations, lunge variations, and glute exercises, check out our ab series videos, our videos on lunges, and our video on hip thrusts and glutes on our channel. I hope that you use this knowledge to your benefit and get rid of your lower back pain for good. Feel free to let me know your results too. If you have any questions regarding strength training, cardio, exercise instruction, or more, feel free to comment below. We'd love to make a video about it for you. Thanks for watching.